those who wait on the Lord, they shall renew their strength, and they shall rise up with wings as eagles. They shall. Praise the Lord. I'm really eager to be praying tonight, share the word and, and spending some time praying. You know, we need to be praying right now. There's so many things going on in different parts of the world. And, you know, I know the Holy Ghost wants us to engage with him so that he can use us to pray out and the Father take that supply and use it as he wants to use it in wherever he wants to use it. So I want to welcome you to the Eagles. If it's your first time with us at the Eagles Prayer, I'm Pastor Eileen Brown. My husband and I, Pastor Rayma Family Church in Doncaster, Rayma Melbourne Online Church, which is what you're on right now, and Rayma Mill Park. And so we're really blessed that you're joined us tonight. We're looking forward so much to praying with you. Glory be to God. And if you have any prayer requests, any praise reports, you can send them in to the details that you'll see on the screen during this meeting tonight. So thank you again for joining us. And I'm looking forward to my supply and your supply coming together and seeing what the Lord will do. Amen. He kind of gave me this title um, I don't know if it seems right for it, but, you know, it's something he kept putting up in my heart. He'll do it again. He's going to do it again. What we read in the Bible and we've seen that he's done in times past, he'll do it again. And we need to set our faith for that and believe that he will do it again. Glory be to God. So, Father, we thank you for each other tonight. As we come in together as the body of Christ, the body of your anointing, as we begin to pray together tonight that your will will be done in the earth as it is in heaven. We thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit that comes to in, help us to engage with him, direct us, stir us up in the direction direction that you're wanting us to pray tonight in Jesus name. I plead the blood of Jesus over every single one of us and around the families that we represent. We bind every evil work. We bind every Every plan of the enemy over our lives, over our nation, over our families, in Jesus' name. And Father, we thank you that you said in Psalm 91 that you've given your angels charge over each one of us to keep us in all our ways. And we believe for that angelic protection around our lives, around our families' lives, around our churches, around our nation, in in Jesus name so we commit our way to you thanking you for your direction for your leading in Jesus precious name hallelujah oh glory you might see this piece of paper big piece of paper on my podium tonight just as I was coming to minister the Holy Ghost gave me a word so I had to just rip it off so I could bring it up and be ready to minister on time glory to God so are you ready because I'm ready remember Smith Wigglesworth said if you have to get ready you'll miss your opportunity he said live ready so I'm ready glory to God you know, Jesus said this, he said, I will give you keys to the kingdom. 
You know, we know that where he's saying that, you know, those keys is the prayer of binding and loosing, but he gives you key words. He gives you key things that you can engage in. And we know that natural keys, that they will open doors, that they will open things for us. And we also know that keys obviously close doors and can close things in our life. In fact, you know, when my husband comes in the house, I hear him beep with the car key and it closes all the doors and he knows then he can close the garage. Glory to God. So we thank God for the keys to the kingdom. So tonight we're expecting him to unfold some keys to us through this word. And even as we begin to pray together, that he'll bring keys to us to help us to enter in to what he wants to do and what he is doing in the earth right now. Glory to God. So give us keys in our prayer time. That's why we're here. It's about prayer. It's about giving ourselves, yielding ourselves to God to use us in prayer in the earth for his glory. And we know that as we've journeyed over the last few years in the Eagles, we know that the church was birthed in prayer and you can read that in Acts chapter 1. We see breakthrough from that prayer in Acts chapter 2, verses 1 to 4, when the Holy Spirit moved in, glory be to God, and things began to break through. There was great changes that came. And yet, you know, the children of Israel, they didn't stop. The disciples didn't stop there. You know, in Acts 2.42, it says that they continued in prayer. In the Amplified Bible, it says they steadfastly persevered, devoting themselves constantly to the instruction, the fellowship of the apostles, to the breaking of bread, including the Lord's Supper and prayer. Another translation says they continued steadfast in prayer. And that's what we want to focus on tonight, is being steadfast in prayer. You'll see in the book of Acts lots of praying. And then you'll see the results from the, from the praying, from the prayer that went forth. I want you to look tonight at Acts chapter 2 and verse 43. And look at what happened as they, it says, as they gave themselves to prayer. Acts 4, 2, 43 says this, and a sense of awe, reverential fear came upon every soul. And many wonders and signs were performed through the apostles, the special, special messengers, as a result of their praying. Many signs and wonders were performed. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Because they gave themselves to the word of God. They gave themselves to the breaking of bread of communion. And they gave themselves to prayer. And there was many signs and wonders, miracles happening. Because they got together and they prayed. They continued in prayer. They stood steadfast in prayer. And in Acts chapter 3, let's just go over a chapter. Remember their prayer opened the way for a miracle, a miracle. And that's what God really, I believe, is wanting to show us tonight, that he'll do it again. That through our prayers, we can start to expect signs and wonders and miracles. In fact, you know, I shared in our evening service a few weeks ago to call our church to a whole month of praying and fasting. Fasting one meal every single day for, for the whole month of March. And that to set our, our faith for miracles, for signs and wonders, for praying for the expanding of ourselves, growing in him, in Jesus' name, for our churches to be growing and to becoming more fruitful for the kingdom of God. And then I shared with the people what a wonderful time as we're coming together corporately in fasting and prayer to be putting in some personal things in that fasting and prayer that you may be needing 
in a breakthrough in a marriage, a home, a situation at work. And, and it's wonderful, you know, when the body comes together in unity and begins to pray. I, in fact, I love Psalm 133. You know, where it talks about the unity and how the anointing begins to flow with that unity. That's very important. So if the anointing flows when we're united together as one voice, one language, you can see what the devil will try to do to stop that unity, to stop that flow, is he'll divide the voices. He'll divide the voice and the language so we're not one. And so the Bible says don't be ignorant of his devices. He does. He comes to rob, to kill and destroy. And the thing that he wants to stop is the unity because of what that unity will bring forth. It brings forth the anointing. And remember in Genesis 11, verse 1 and 6, it says when the people were one voice and one language, there was nothing that they imagined that they could do that would be withheld from them. And so it gives us some illustrations on the power of that unity. And of course, you know, the devil will come at that any way he can. And that's why too in a fast, you know, the fast that we chose to do is the one that God chose in Isaiah 58. He says, is this not the fast that I have chosen? From verse 6, what will it do? It will break every enslaving yoke. It will destroy every burden, that the light will break forth, that healing will come forth speedily. But then in that, that chapter, it goes on to say, and don't point the finger. In other words, don't walk out of love. Don't start judging and condemning other people. Stay walking in love, because if not, you just break the power of that fast over your own life. And we don't want to break the power of that. We want that unity coming together to see some things change, some people change. Maybe as you're praying personally over a few things in your own life, you don't want to hinder if you're standing praying for a breakthrough in those different areas. So we have to be mindful of the devil. He'll come in to try and rob, kill, and destroy. What? The unity to stop the anointing, to stop what? What that anointing can do in the midst of us. And a good scripture for that is, is 1 Corinthians 13 verses 4 to 6. You know, Brother Hagen used to call that the love thermometer. You can judge where you are by that. And so if we feel that we're sliding a bit, we need to get back into that. And Father, thank you that walking in love, you said, never fails to produce. So you can see it's to our benefit that we walk in love. Because when we walk in love and do it God's way, it never fails to produce. Glory to God. Well, you got a little bit extra tonight. So... It says our praying opens the way for a miracle. And the Lord is showing us these things because what he said to me is, I'll do it again. That's what kept coming up all the way through it. I'll do it again. I remember a few weeks ago, the Lord led me to that song and I shared it with someone in our church. You know, I sent it to them and they said it was the right song for that moment for them. So glory to God. And I believe it's the right song for this moment with us that he'll do it again hallelujah and he wants us to know that that's what he wants to do he wants us to see miracles and signs and wonders you know we know that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday today and forever what he did yesterday he'll do it again Jesus the same his power is the same his love for people is the same his desire to build his church is the same and you're going to see through the book of Acts that there's a big 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 connection between prayer and miracles in Acts chapter 1 sorry in Acts chapter 3 and verse 1 it says I want to read it first from the Amplified now Peter and John were going to the temple at the hour of prayer the ninth hour at three o'clock in the afternoon 
In the New Living Bible, it, I love how it puts it so plain. It says, Peter and John went to the temple one afternoon to take part in the 3 p.m. prayer service. Glory to God. We've got corporate prayer, I think, um, this week or next week in our church. And glory to God, there's something awesome and wonderful when believers come together corporately to pray and what it begins to release. Hallelujah. I so love that corporate prayer. You know, look at these men that are coming together to pray. Uh, these are the men, um, the ones that Jesus, do you remember? These were the same ones when Jesus asked them to watch and pray with him for one hour, fell asleep. They couldn't even stay awake. And, and in his worst hours, they couldn't even stay awake and pray with him, engage with him in prayer. They fell asleep. And now we look at them and these disciples are devoted to prayer. In Luke 24 and verse 33, it says they spent time in the temple praising God. Look at how it changed their life from them responding to Jesus when Jesus said, go to the upper room and wait. And they began to pray in that room and changes began to take place in their life. And we can see that in Acts 1, they were cons consistently in prayer. Acts 2, they were devoted to prayer. Acts 3, 4 and 5. And then Acts 6 says they gave their attention to the word of God and to prayer and look at what it did in their life. Look at the change it brought forth in their life, but around their lives and around the communities that God had sowed them into. You know, prayer is a key. Jesus said, ask and you will receive. Ask and you will receive. You know, when we pray, things begin to happen. We need to know that. James 5, 16 to 20 says the effectual fervent prayer of a person that knows their rights makes tremendous power available. And that power is dynamic in its work. And it's like dynamite. It begins to work, but God takes that prayer and he begins to use use it in the areas that he desires to use it. In fact, you know, it says in Acts, it's sorry, in James 5, 16, in the Message Bible, as they began to pray, everything began to grow again. You know, you bring the reins of the spirit over seed that's been sown and give that seed every opportunity to begin to open up in people's hearts, in situations, so we can begin to see fruit start to come up in Jesus' name. So Jesus said, ask and you will receive. And then in Acts chapter 3, verse uh, verse 2, uh, talking about this man, it says, When a certain man crippled from his birth was being carried along, who laid each day at the gate of the temple, which was called Beautiful, so that he might beg alms from the people. You know, you, I want you to think about this, this man that he was taken every day to the gate called Beautiful uh, and was put there so he could beg alms every day. This man had never walked, he'd never run, and his only source of income is what people would feel in their hearts that day to, to put into his hat or whatever, uh, uh, to drop some, some coins or some money in there. That was the only source of his income. And then in verse 3 it says, So when he saw Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked them to give him a gift. And Peter directed his gaze intently at him, as did John, and said, Look at us. Whoa. And the man paid attention to them, expecting that he was going to get something from them. I'll tell you, he was expecting money, but he got something much more value to his life than money right at that time. Verse 6, Peter said, silver and gold I do not have, but what I do have I will give to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. 
I like what one translation says here. He says, it, it, he says, silver and gold have I not, but such as I have. I will give you what I have in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And they put out their hand to him and said, get up and walk. And they put their hand to him and helped him as he got up to walk. Church, we've got to recognize there's power in the name of Jesus. They just said, in the name of Jesus, get up and walk. There's power in that name. And then people started looking at Peter and looking at John. And then in verse 16, they said, and through and his name through and by faith in his name is what made this man to walk whom you see and recognize and made him strong yes through faith in his name and that what they're saying there is this don't look at us it wasn't our power it wasn't our ability it was through the name of Jesus and faith in that name that this man is walking that you see right now glory Glory be to God. I want you to quickly go over to John chapter 14. John 14, I've been listening and read it and listen to these chapters um, a lot of times, you know, over the last few weeks. In John 14 and verse, tw uh, 14 and verse 12, and it says in, in verse 12, I assure you, most solemnly I tell you, if anyone steadfastly believes in me, he himself will be able to do the things I do, and he will do even greater things than this because I go to the Father. Listen to it in the New Living Bible. He says, I'm telling you the truth. Are you listening? He says, I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. Anyone who believes in me, the same works I've done, you will do. Anyone who has faith in me, glory be to God. Hallelujah. So he says, I'm telling you. In other words, he wants us to get something. I'm telling you, it's through faith in the name of Jesus that this man is healed. And what he's trying to get across to us as we command healing, in the name of Jesus, those same things and greater things can happen in Jesus' name. And then he says, I will, verse 13 and 14, I will do it for you. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. He says, now I will do, I myself will grant whatever you ask in my name as presenting all that I am so that the Father may be glorified through the Son. Yes, I will grant, I myself will do for you whatever you shall ask in my name as presenting all that I am. Can you see how he's trying to get this across to us? He's repeating it and repeating it. Why? Because he wants us to get it in Jesus' name. In John 15 and verse 16, he says, Here, you have not chosen me, I have chosen you, I have appointed you, I have planted you, that you might go and bear fruit and keep on bearing, that your fruit may be lasting, that it may remain and abide. Now listen, so what? Ever you ask the Father in my name as presenting all that I am, he will give it to you. He wants us to get that and he's repeating it so we get it. Whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Glory be to God and he will give it to me. You know, I've been reading, listening, you know, when I get in ready, I'm listening to chapter 14, 15 and 16 in John. I read chapter 14, 15 and 16. And when I first kind of started doing that, wasn't quite sure what God was wanting me to catch in it and then all of a sudden you know as I put these notes together I could see Eileen I want you to see 
the power that's in the name of Jesus. I want you to command in the name of Jesus, have faith in the name of Jesus, that silver and gold you might not have, but what you do have is worth more than the silver and gold. You can command in the name of Jesus and the dead will rise, the sick will be healed, and the oppressed will be set free in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. And he said it over and over again to us. So that's telling us we need to spend time in those words and let those words get into our heart. The authority of those words begin to rise up on the inside of us. And, you know, we can say, Jesus, I'm going to ask because you told me to believe in your name, that your will will be done in my life. Your will will be done in my family. Your will will be done in this situation in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, how do we know what his will is? Well, if you go through the Gospels, you'll find out his will. You know, we saw people sick and Jesus healed them. We saw people oppressed and he delivered them. He delivered people. He delivered people from death to life. Glory be to God. We see his will. His will is to provide for us, protect us. Glory be to God, to heal, to deliver, to raise up in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And so we should be focusing on that. Your will be done in the earth as it is in heaven in the name of Jesus. What's it like in heaven? Glorious. There's no one sick in heaven. There's no one in lack in heaven. There's no one dead in heaven. They're alive and living gloriously in heaven. And we've got to begin to focus on that. And you know what? Stop focusing on what people have said to you and their experiences. No, we don't, we don't ever focus on an experience. We focus on the name of Jesus. You know, I remember years ago, we were doing healing school. And I remember it in the healing school at, you know, a, a lady that was so faithful come in with a group of ladies. You've heard me share it before. They'd be praying before the healing school. They'd be walking the altar before we come out and even start sharing. And then when I began praying, they'd be walking at the back of the people and praying in the name of Jesus. Oh my goodness. They were awesome warriors in the spirit. And one lady's, you know, husband, he'd been facing something and he passed from earth to heaven. He changed his location and went to heaven. And I remember her coming in my office and she said, Pastor, do you think it's still okay that if I'm involved in healing school? And I said, why wouldn't it be? She said, well, because of, you know, my husband leaving earth and going to heaven. I said, people's healings are not based on your husband. They're not based on us. They're based on the name of Jesus. They're based on the word of God. And your you're a prayer. I need you in the healing school. And you know, she was so faithful, such a faithful lady that traveled quite a few miles to get in to our healing school every Wednesday. And we've seen God do some amazing things. And, and, and you know, it was because prayer was constantly preparing the way in there. Tuesday, I had a group of eagles, prayers that we'd go in there. We did it every Tuesday for years and we would go in and we prayed purposely around the altar we would always follow the direction of the spirit but we knew our prayer around that altar was doing something in preparation for our meetings Sunday meetings healing meetings whatever meetings and our, that atmosphere was so different in fact we had one preacher one time come and minister for us and when he ministered for us, I was sitting watching him. I nudged my husband and I said, he doesn't know where to, to close tonight because you could feel him trying to look at where, where do you close? He was so caught in something. And when he eventually did and sat down, I said to him, you didn't know how to close. He said, no. He said, because there is such a, a wealth of prayer in this place that you could go for hours in here. 
And I thought, wow, Father, thank you for encouraging in us in that because we had corporate prayer in there, Sunday prayer, Eagles prayer. We had healing school prayer in there. And it was almost like it the walls were padded with it. And it was a wonderful place to see miracles. We seen the glory of God break out in there in a service with Billy Brim. She, she kind of came in. She was the trigger. She opened up something and we had weeks of going in there and not knowing what was going to happen. All kinds of things were going on in our services. Oh, Father, thank you for that. Thank you that what you have done, you do it again. That's the word you've given us for today. And so the only focus that we have in prayer and when we pray for people is the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So when we call on you, Father, you know, when you call on him, the Father of glory, we can pray for protection for people in the name of Jesus. What a wonderful God he is. And I'm, I'm trusting that what we've shared has stirred you up. My goodness, it has me. I even, because I've been in those chapters for a little while, I, I could feel a difference in my pray, prayer around the altar, you know, in our Sunday services, in our healing meeting. My goodness, we had a healing meeting and I was still in the overflow of it last week when we came in to the Eagles prayer. Glory to God. Glory to God. And it's catching that. You can't catch it, though, if you don't go in and spend time in it. You have to get in. Remember the change in the disciples came because they gave themselves. They gave their attention. These same men that when Jesus asked them to pray with him for an hour, it is worst hour in that garden when, when he knew it was a preparation for what was a, he was about to face, that darkest hour when all the sins of the world, past, present and future were going to come on him. When, when he was going to go on that cross, he knew what was happening and he came out and asked the men he'd walked with, the people he'd walked with, that he talked, that he prayed with and he said, in other words, I'm in an hour right now and I need you to watch and pray with me. And guess what they did? They went to sleep. And yet these same men right now, glory be to God, these same men now have given themselves to the word. Acts 6, they've given themselves to the word. They've given themselves to, to, to communion. They've given themselves to fasting, but they've given themselves to prayer. And look at what the Lord has done. Glory to God. And if he did those miracles then, he's going to do them again. Can you say amen? Hallelujah. And so, Father, as we come tonight to pray, oh, it's in my heart to pray for, for the Ukraine people tonight, Father, to pray. And, I, and I, I don't know. I know that we to pray and I know that we can pray, but we, we need the Holy Spirit to give us direction in our prayer because you know what we don't know. You know the things in the background that are going on. So we're asking you to help us to pray. We're asking the Holy Spirit to come and help us tonight. You know, it says in here, let me just go here and read it to you. And then let's engage in prayer together. In Romans 8.26, he says, so too the Holy Spirit comes to our aid and bears us up in our weakness when we do not know what to offer in prayer and how to offer it worthily. But the Spirit himself comes to meet our supplication and pleads on behalf with unspeakable yearnings and groanings too deep for utterance. You know, as I came up to pray with you tonight, listen... The Holy Spirit began to bring this to me, the Message Bible in Romans 8.26. It says, God's Spirit, the Holy Spirit, comes alongside and helps us. 
So I'm believing he's, even as we've committed this prayer to him, as we begin to give ourselves, that the Holy Spirit will come alongside and help us to pray. The ho- another translation says the Holy Spirit will empower us. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You know, let me share this. I don't know if you've ever read Reese Howell's book and how he had a Bible school and he turned that Bible school in World War II into a prayer house. And they began to pray through World War II and actually turned some courses of actions around. And they prayed all the way through World War II. And God used their prayer supply and things turned and changes came and weather patterns even changed. Glory to God. And so I want you to see when we begin to pray over the Ukraine, we're dealing with a, really, we're dealing with a madman. Because I don't believe that he wants to stop where he's going. I don't believe he's put a border on it. So, But we don't know everything that's in his heart. We just know what he's doing isn't of God. Because when you kill mothers and babies and you go in and kill innocent people, we know that that's no plan of God. That's a horrible person hurting people. And we want to see a turnaround. So we want to give our supply to God so he can go in and use it in Jesus' name. Use our supply. Give that supply to him and let him begin to use it. He said the effectual fervent prayer of a person that knows their rights makes power available that is dynamic in its working. So that's what we're believing for as we begin to pray. And I want to give you this word the Lord gave me just as I was coming to minister. He says it's time for us to pray to dig deep and pray and start to call for the light to overpower the darkness, to overpower the lies, to overpower the deception. Step up now and pray. And I'm calling you this day to pray, to pray, to pray, and let that prayer make its way in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. So, Father, as we begin to pray, we thank you for the Holy Spirit helping us. Glory, glory, glory. More, we commit the Ukraine to you, Father. We don't know everything. We just know anything that robs, kills, and destroys is from the enemy. Yes. It's an enemy. That's right. And we just thank you right now, thank Father. You, Lord. We're speaking for thank light you, amidst all the darkness <laughs> in the name <laughs> of Jesus. Shonoma none imposi sonoma. Mutita na maso. Le ki sonoma none imposia. Ano no impole inkusi sonoma. Ano ne ne mi si sonoma nuke. Bruno imposi inko. La hina masi sono mano ne inkena manuku. Brenene ne mi si sono ma tutti inko. La ki si imposia. Anu no ne ne mi si sono ma. Bruno no 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 ma. Rega ki sono ma. I know you said in your word that you wouldn't abandon people. You wouldn't abandon us in our hour of need. And I believe you're not abandoning the Ukraine. You're not abandoning the people. You're not abandoning the soldiers in Jesus' name. Oh, so, so, si, so, no, ma, no, ke. Bruno, no, ne, 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 mi, si, so, no, ma. Mutita, no, ma, no, ke. Brege, ki, so, no, ma, no, ke, ki, so, no, ma. Mo, so, mo, so, mo, so. Mi, si, ki, ne, mi, ni, ke, ki, so, no, ma. Mo, into, we call confusion. Over every plan of darkness. Mm, yeah. We call confusion Jeez. over the plans of darkness. Yes. Confusion Let's over the enemy in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lule Impo, La Likena Maso, Nene Nemi Si Sonoma. 
Bruno no Father, you know what's going on. You know, Father, you know what's ahead, you know what's behind. And in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the turnings, the turnings in the name of Jesus. More so Mititana Masoto Tati Ima No Neme No Ne 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 Me Sisonoma Bruno No Na 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 Ma You're their shelter Yes you are You're their shelter You're their refuge You're their refuge Father Mo Anto Bruno Ne 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 Me Sisonoma Mutita Mutita Tati Inku Sisonoma Anto Ne 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 Me Sisonoma Ole Inku Get them out Get them out Get them out. Mole entonenenena. Dig them out. Dig them out now. Dig them out in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Dig them out. Dig them out. Dotata ima. Mosi sono manuka. Mosi sono manonene mi si sono ma. Luhunta. Luhunta tati inku si sono ma. Mosi. 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 At your mercy, Father. We need your mercy right now. Mercy. Mercy, <laughs> Confuse the path, confuse the path, confuse the path. Oh, le into ne ne me. Oh, le ke kisho no ma. Ano ne 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 me si ya. Ano no ne 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 me si so no ma. Mo anto, mo anto ne inkusima. Oh, le into, le inkusi so no ma. We bind that strong man. We bind that strong man. We bind it. Mo anto. Rescue, rescue, rescue those. Rescue them, Father. Rescue, 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 rescue. Mo le le importa na 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 maso. Me si sono ma no ke kisho no ma. Mo le into mo li ke na ma. The borders. Watch the borders. Watch. Watch the borders now. Watch the borders. Mo le 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 mi si sono manoka. Bruno no. Give them eyes to see. Eyes to see, Father. Watch the borders. Watch those borders. Mo si sono manone impo. La ki so manone ne mi si ya. No na 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 maso. Don't sleep. Wake up. Wake up. Watch the borders. Watch the borders. Mo si sono manone. Bruno no ne 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 mi si so no ma o le ke kisho no ma o le ke kisho no ma no ka ano ne ne na don't be ignorant don't be ignorant of his devices no 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 watch 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 now raise up watchers raise up prayers mo le into la kisho so no ma so te ti imo la kisho so ne 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 mi si ya o le inko ambo si so so no ma no ne ne mia ma si so save the people save them save them save them o lu ku ku so no ma no ne ne mi si ya anto le ke si ma le ke ki le ke ki le ke ki so so no ma o the keys father give them keys give them keys give them keys let them see let them see now let them hear oh let them hear what the spirit's saying what the spirit's saying oh Luku kusho shono manuka, muti tena mano ne 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 mi si shono ma, Bruno, Bruno ne 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 mi si ya, Anto ne 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 mi si shono ma, Oh luku, luku si, luke kusho shono ma, Bruno ne 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 mi si ya, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, we make much of the blood, the blood of Jesus, the blood of the Lamb, the blood of the Lamb. Yes. Oh, look, Kusha, no man, 
nene mi si sonoma Bruno nene mi si sonoma Oh yes 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 nations 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 wake up wake up nations wake up nations wake up wake up Poland wake up wake up now Oh watch those borders watch the borders mo si sonoma Bruno na 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 ma sonono ma pregegishono ma ole le untone ne ne me no ne 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 me si ayama no ke kishono ma ole kukushono ma no ne ne me si sono ma don't be ignorant don't be ignorant to their devices don't be ignorant Wake up, wake up. Molu kusima sonoma noka. Molu le 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 mi si sonoma. Poland, wake up, wake up. Wake up and watch your borders. Watch your borders now. Mo sone ne mi si. So sonoma no ne importa tati ima. Mo si kina manoka. Bruno no no ne 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 mia. Oh, ota, 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 tati inko. Oh, fata masi sono manu ne impo. Oh, ampo, Australia, Australia, watch your borders. Guard your borders in the name of Jesus. Oh, no impo tata tima, musi so sono manoka. Bruno ne 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 mi siya, muti tana manoka kisho shono ma. Oh, the keys, the keys, Father, the keys. Oh, that we're not sleeping, we're not sleeping. Awake, awake, awake now, wake up now. Mo le 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 mi si sono ma, muti tana manoka. Oh, le inso ne 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 mi si. Oh, le ke kisho shono ma, no ne ne miya, ano ne that we not be ignorant. Not be ignorant, not be ignorant that our eyes are open, our ears are hearing, yes, that we not be ignorant of the devil's devices in the name of Jesus. Raise up the church's father to be places of prayer. Praying now, praying now, praying now, raising up, digging deep, digging deep in the name of Jesus. Mole into ne 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 mi si sono ma, Bruno in pu si sono ma nuka, prega kisha sono ma. Oh le 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 mi si ya. We speak peace over those waters. Peace over the waters. Peace over the waters. Peace over the waters. Peace over the waters. More peace. Mu into ne ne me siya. So suni inku si suno ma. Oh, Father, mu si suno manuka. Hallelujah in so. Le like na mano ne 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 me si suno manuku si ma. Oh, su suno ma. Hallelujah. Namaso. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Oh, thank you, Father. Oh, le 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 me si sonoma. Oh, he said, if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray, pray, pray for His will to be done. His will to be done. Pray and call confusion over every plan of darkness in the name of Jesus, not just over the Ukraine, but over Poland, and not over just Poland, but over your nation and over my nation in Jesus' name. We thank you, Father. We praise you, Father. Hallelujah. And church, what did he say? Start to call for the light to overpower the darkness, to overpower the lies, to overpower the deception. Step up now and pray. I'm calling you this day to pray and to pray and to pray, and that prayer will make a way. God will use that supply. Hallelujah. Well, glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I just want you to know as we close tonight that Pastor John and I are praying for you, praying for your families, praying for your nation. Glory be to God. And that prayer, that supply, 
causes his will to be done in our lives, in the life of our nations, in Jesus' name. So thank you for joining us tonight. You have a wonderful weekend. And remember, you can join us at Rama Doncaster, if you're in Melbourne, at 10 a.m. live on Saturday, Sunday. If you're not in Melbourne live, you can join us at 10 a.m. on Rama Melbourne Online Church. And we will be live at Rama Mill Park, 6 p.m. on Sunday night. We look forward to seeing you at one of our meetings over this weekend. You have a wonderful weekend. And remember something that God loves you. And those who wait on the Lord They shall renew their strength And they shall rise